the Pulse V2 RDA from Vandy Vape and Tony B. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Ben Vick here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this. This is the Pulse V2 RDA from Vandy Vape and Tony B. Um, so they've taken the original Pulse 24 and uh, they have upgraded it to make this the V2 RDA. And I believe it will be coming with the Pulse Jewel. So if you're uh, if you're one of these people that get the the Pulse Squonkers from Vandy Vape, if you get the kit, I believe it will come with the Pulse 2 RDA. Uh, in that kit. So if you're getting the Pulse Jewel Squonker, this is the RDA that comes with it. It will be available separately as well. I've got the old black one here. They've made some very interesting changes to this RDA. The first thing that they've changed is the deck. It's still a postless situation, kind of. You're still dropping your coils in and tightening them up, but now they've gone into a, a V-shaped postless, so it's actually dropping kind of through a post to tighten up. Uh, so they're still dropping coils that you tighten up, but it's on a different deck system now. The deck system, uh, it looks exactly the same as the NADA RDA, if you saw that, not another dripping atomizer by Fagan and I think it was Tiger Tech uh, made that RDA. It looks to be the exact same deck as that. Um, so that's the first thing that they've done. They've changed the posts, they've changed the way you, you, you mount your coils in this RDA. The next thing they've changed is the airflow. Now, the airflow is uh, very interesting indeed. So what they've got here this time is they have these yellow bits here, these yellow bits, and these are uh, airflow inserts. So what you have to do is you have to pick the insert that you want uh, to vape with, and they're all slightly different. So this one I'm using right now is for a big dual coil, but with loads of little holes. So when you're closing it down, you've got loads of little holes. Um, they have another one which the insert goes much closer in and that is the single coil insert so you, the airflow ends much closer into the deck it's ideally for single coils and then thirdly they have a big wide open one um, really set back so allow you to put really big coils in there and it's just a big sort of cycloptic hole inside and that is the third insert available so they've got these different inserts now for different vape styles it's still a very squonky RDA, um, it's very much still a squonky RDA, it's a split cap design, so the top cap comes off like I just showed you then, uh, the top half comes off there, the insert stays on the bottom half, and you pull the whole thing off when you want to mess with your deck. You've got your goon tips on top, and it's still very much a squonky RDA, so if you're a squonky squonky person, uh, definitely check this out. Let's uh, go down low. Let's go down low. I'll give you a cheeky look at this, then we'll come back up top for pros and cons on the Pulse 2 RDA from Vandy Vape. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are down low with the Pulse 2 RDA from Vandy Vape. Uh, this is what you get with it. You also get a normal 510 pin as well if you want to use it as a dripper, not as a squonker. Uh, so there we go. So this is what you get. Let's uh, work our way through it. So this is the top cap. Pulse along the top there, really nice fancy goon drip tip. Other drip tips do fit absolutely fine. Other 810 drip tips fit fine. Uh, yeah, nice, nice, uh, nice, nicer looking. I think this pulse. As you can see, it's got a big open hole. Uh, I'll show you why that is in a second. But yeah, this is a top cap. No major beveling or anything or what have you. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a powerful. Uh, it's a high wattage RDA really so yeah no like major beveling or doming in there anything like that you then have this uh, second part of uh, second part of it this is the bottom half of it so this goes on top like that right there um, but what this has is the ability to take on different air inserts so you get three you get uh, this one which is for single coil as you can see that pushes it the air holes really close to the coil so that's for a single coil this one is for a really cloudy coil uh, this one's just like a straight open hole insert um, so that one's for really high wattage and uh, this one just kind of in between this is for dual coil but uh, there's a lot more air hole adjustment options here you can reduce that down to have less holes firing at the co at the coil so that one is the one I've been using that's kind of the most adjustable one uh, for dual coil so these simply click into here 
they just go sort of on an o-ring you want it so that they're pointing downward make sure it's right so it clicks in and it's right in the center there and it as you can as you can hear and feel it's very very sturdy it's not really loose it doesn't it's not going to fall out every time you take the top off or anything like that so that's absolutely fine so that goes like that and then this goes on here like that and uh, you adjust your airflow however you like it and that's how the top section of this RDA works this is the deck so what we've got here is raised up posts in kind of a, a Y shape uh, it's, they're still sort of kind of like poster style they still drop these coils in tighten them on there the advantage of this uh, post this deck is you don't have to be super precise with your leads anywhere in this region as long as it clamps them on and you're absolutely fine the coils sit on top it's kind of like drop drop dead rabbit ish kind of uh, they just stay on top like that and your cotton flies down here so this is the deck nice juice well super easy to mount your coils super easy to build on super easy to wick let me uh, let me just go wick this up now and then I'll put it all back together all right guys so this is what it looks like all built up uh, pretty straightforward uh, literally just throwing your wicks down each side no major gripe there obviously you've got to keep your cotton a bit longer than you normally would uh, a bit longer so it fits on um, you know so it gets right down to the base but uh, that is how you wick it up you then put your uh, bottom piece on your, on the base like that like that and that sits in like that you then get your air insert and uh, you put it in like like that clicks in nicely you can see it's pointing right at those coils pointing down right at those co coils very very nice indeed and uh, lastly you put your top cap on and you put your top cap on depending on how much air you want it to have I'm gonna have mine pretty much full open and it looks like that there we go that is the pulse v2 from Vandy vape and Tony B all put back together let's go back up top for pros and cons see you in a sec okay guys that was the pulse 2 RDA down low from Vandy vape and Tony B really interesting RDA uh, the first thing I will say is they have definitely made improvements this is definitely an improvement on the original pulse 24 rda um, so in terms of going from a v1 to a v2 it's definitely a good job in that sense they have improved the deck they've improved the airflow and they've m mostly improved the look i think it's a very good looking rda now i really like the inset pulse engraving i really like the the matte blackness of mine um, it's a really solid looking piece of work now. Uh, the goon tips look really neat on top. I love the the uh, engraving and the sort of beveling, the design on the actual top bit of the top cap. Um, the inserts look really neat with the actual airflow. It all looks really seamless and matchy. Um, so I, I, the look is definitely improved. The deck is definitely improved. The airflow is definitely improved. And the vape is definitely improved. So in terms of going from a V1 to a V2, this is a big improvement in my opinion they've done a good job um, if you are a fan and still use the pulse 24 rda definitely 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 be having a look at this because it's kept the essence the same but i think it's a big improvement on the original pulse 24 rda so i'll say that i'll say that straight off the bat vaping a bit like this i've got it with the multiple hole wide open setup dual coil 75 watts banging it out Good flavour, good vapour production, and all that jazz. You can really adjust the airflow now. That is the big thing with these inserts. They give you a lot of airflow options, and m reducing the airflow really does affect the vape. If you go down to two holes on each side with this, it's a very tight, tight, restricted vape now. Whereas before, with the, the way the airflow was before, you know, really, you just wanted it wide open, as much watts as you can get handle, and uh, pump it out with the 24. Now, this one, it really gives you a lot of different vaping options. So if you're a dual coil squonker, then uh, the airflow option you can dial in to your exact wattage, which is really, really nice, really, really good. 
I think the airflow inserts is a nice touch. I think it's good. Again, it gives you all those options, all that variety. It's a really clever way of doing a single coil because you've, you, you've put in those rat reducer in and you can stick your coil right down the middle, change your airflow to suit the single coil. Works very, very well. I think the inserts are very clever, well executed as well. When you pull the top cap off, those inserts stay in place and they work very, very well. So I think the inserts are good. I think the look is a lot better. I'm enjoying the deck more as well. And it's a nice vape. It's a good, good vape. Couple of couple of negatives. A couple of negatives though, however. The what the wide open insert is really noisy. It's really noisy. Now I don't know what could have been done about that. Maybe more beveling, maybe more rounding on that one. So it was all sort of a cake cavernous sort of type thing. So smooth out the airflow in there. But the that one is really, really noisy. So I'll say I'll say that. Also, although you go into a single coil with a single coil insert, it's still very airy. It's still a very airy design. And even closing it off, you know, it's you're talking about a single coil. You're still going to be going up 30, 40, 50 watts as a single coil RDA. So you might love your single coils in that region. And so definitely have a look for that reason. But if you're thinking, oh, single coil, I can do my 25 watt squonk vape with that. No, I wouldn't say not. I would say not. It's not reducing the chamber. It's just putting the air closer to the coil. So, I, I, yeah, I would say it's not a low wattage RDA. It's not a low wattage RDA. I would say that. Final proper negative, I would say, is when you take the top half of the cap off, um, it get it can get messy. A lot of juice sort of collects on this in, on the inside of this insert. That's one thing with having a separate part in there. Juice collects on the yellow bit here, the insert. And so when you put the cap back on, uh, you're often left with a bit of, bit of messiness around there. Now, as a squonker, that's not going to be a huge deal. You're not going to be taking that on and off all the time. But uh, as a dripper, that could get quite annoying if you're a top cap removing dripping person. Uh, that could get very, very annoying, very, very fast. Um, so that's a thing. That is a thing. That, that is going to have to go as a negative. So I have one more vape. It's a nice vape, it's a nice vape. But my overall thoughts on this RDA is, if you're getting it with the dual, uh, the, the Pulse Dual Squonker as a kit, I think it's gonna, that's gonna make, I don't know what the Squonker's like, I don't know what the mod's like, I don't have it. I think that's gonna make a very solid kit. It's a very solid RDA to get in a kit. So I will give it that credit. It's a big step up from the V1, it's a big improvement, it's a very good RDA, and it's a very nice RDA to get in a kit. However, I couldn't justify going out and buying this separately. Um, I still think there are better squonky dual coil RDAs out there. I think the Rebirth is better. I think the Drop Dead is better. The Rabbit is better. Um, what else we've got? The Equitas is better as well. The Bonzer is better. It's just a very, very competitive RDA scene right now. So many great RDAs this year. Uh, the Goon. I still prefer the Goon for squonking dual coil over this. So... Ultimately, if you're getting it as a kit, I think happy days. I think you'll really enjoy it. I think it's a really nice RDA to get in the kit. But to buy separately, I don't put it above those RDAs I just mentioned in my list. So, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit, tiny bit below there because of a few little niggles in the way it vapes a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, so it's a good RDA to get as a kit. It's a good squonky RDA. There's no major concerns or faults with it. It's a really solid RDA, but it's just not quite as good for me as some of those other RDAs I've mentioned. So as a standalone RDA, in a standalone review like this, I've got to say, I think there are better RDAs out there, but it's a good RDA. It's a good RDA. I'm going to give it credit, which is what it deserves. So it's a good job. It'll be a nice addition to your kit. Get the kit if you're getting the, the Pulse 2 or the Pulse, Pulse Jewel Squonker, I should say. Uh, consider it in the kit. That's going to make for a really solid kit. But as a standalone RDA, I think there are better ones out there. So that's me. Let me know what you think in the comments, like and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.